हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन आ विश यू अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर आई होप दिस ईयर 2018 थाउजेंड एटीन विल बी अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल ईयर फॉर ऑल ऑफ आर व्यूवर्स ओके गाइस सो लेट्स बिगेन द डिस्कशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन on glycoma okay so our question number 1 is which of the following drug is not used in acute angle closer glycoma options are pilocarpine clozapine flupazine duloxetin so the correct answer is here option number b that is clozapine okay now let's move to our next question so this is the question number 2 which of the following arachidonic acid <coughs> sorry derivative is used in treatment of glycoma options are latanoprost iloprost alprostadil none of the above so the correct answer is here latanoprost that is our option number a okay the explanation is given here you can read it okay by pausing the video you can read now we are going to our next question so this is a question which of the following is not correct regarding glyco pyrrol pyrrolate options are inhibitor action on salivary glands heart rate usually increases after intravenous administration should be avoided in glycoma the longer duration of action than atropine so the correct answer is here is should be avoided in glycoma that is our option number c okay so the our question number 4 is which of the following is the indication for using phenyl substituted prostaglandin f2 alpha latanoprost options are maintenance of ductus atresus pulmonary hypertension gastric mucosal protection d glycoma options are are these so the correct option is here option number d that is glycoma again the explanation is given you can read it so our question number 5 a 41 year old woman with glycoma is treated with acetazolamide several weeks later the woman has an arterial ph of 7.34 and arterial pco2 of 29 mm hg and a plasma co3 of 50 m equivalent eq slash l which of the following abnormalities has be has this woman most likely developed options are metabolic acidosis metabolic alkalosis mixed acidosis mixed alkalosis so the correct option is here option number a that is metabolic acidosis okay now let's move to the next question so this is our question acetazolamide is administered uh, to a glycoma patient given that this drug inhibits carbonic anhydrase in the renal proximal tubule which of the following substances will be excreted at a lower rate options are Na plus H two O S C O three minus N H four. So the correct answer is N H four. That is ammonia. Okay. So our next question, question number seventh. A thirty-year-old female present with episodic throbbing headache associated with nausea and vomiting for past four years. What will be the most likely diagnosis? Is options are migraine, cluster headache. angle closer glycoma temporal arthritis so the correct answer is migraine that is our option number a is right now our question number 8 a 20 year old unmarried girl complaining of visual aura lasting for 20 minutes described as a small central disturbance in the field of vision marches towards the periphery leaving a transient scotoma in its wake the expanding border of death has a scintillating dancing or zigzag age this phenomena also remain visible in the dark or with the eyes closed after the visual symptoms recede headache develops she gives a long standing historic stereotypic attacks what is the most likely diagnosis is options are glycoma 
क्लासिक माइग्रेन ट्रांसजेंट आयुष्यमिक अटैक्स डी नॉन ऑर्गेनिक विजुअल लॉस द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज हेयर ऑप्शन नंबर बी दैट इज क्लास क्लासिक माइग्रेन सो डायग्नोसिस इज क्लासिक माइग्रेन ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ इज क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन पेनलेस पेनलेस लॉस ऑफ विजन इज सीन इन ऑल एक्सेप्ट पेपिलेडिमा पेपिलिटिस एंगल क्लोजर का ग्लाइकोमा डी क्राउ सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज हियर ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज एंगल क्लोजर ग्लाइकोमा हियर इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो गो थ्रू इट ओके सो आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिन दिस रिंग इसको टॉमास सीन हिन ऑप्शन सार मैक्यूलर एडिमा नाइट ब्लाइंडनेस सीवियर माओपिया एंगल क्लोजर ग्लाइकोमा यर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सीवियर माई माओपिया रिंग इसको टॉमास सीन इन सीवियर माओपिया ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन विस टाइप ऑफ सेनाइल कैट्रैक्ट इज नोटोरियस फॉर ग्लाइकोमा फॉर्मेशन ऑप्शन आर इंसिपियंट कैट्रैक्ट बाई पर मेच्योर मोरगनी इंट्यूमेसेंट कैट्रैक्ट न्यूक्लियर कैट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन आर दीज सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज यर इंट्यूमेसेंट कैट्रैक्ट दैट इज और ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज राइट ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन A patient having glaucoma develops blepharoconjunctivity after instilling some anti-glaucoma drug. Which of the following drug can be responsible for it? Options are timolol, lentonosprot, dibuprofen, pilocarpine. The correct answer is timolol. That is our option number A is correct. Okay. The next question is: Kusumulata presents with acute painful red eye. and mild dilated vertically oval pupil most likely diagnosis is options are acute retrovulvar neuritis acute angle closure glaucoma acute anterior uveitis severe keratojunctivitis so the option b is correct here that is acute angle closure glaucoma is the right answer so this is a question a woman complains of colored halos around lights in the evening with nausea and vomiting iop is normal diagnosis is incipient stage glaucoma open angle prodromal stage closed angle glaucoma c migraine d raised icd the correct answer is prodromal stage closed angle glaucoma that is our option number b is correct here. again the next question which of the following drugs is not used topically for treatment of open angle glaucoma options are latanoprost brimonidine acetalozomide d dorzolamide option the correct answer is here acetalozomide that is option number c is correct so our next question is this A 64-year-old woman in otherwise excellent health is referred by her optician to ophthalmology outpatients. The optician has noticed cupping of the optic discs and enlargement of the blind spot. Tonometry confirms the diagnosis is chronic simple open angle glaucoma. Choose the most appropriate drug from the choices below. Brimonidine, tropicamide, timolol. hypromelilos that is the here the option number c is correct that is timolol is the right answer again our next question a 55 year old woman present to her physician complaining of acute pain and redness in her right eye with nausea and vomiting she reports seeing halos around lights on examination lacrimation lid edema conjunctival injection stm cornea and a fixed mid dilated pupil are seen she has marked 
rapidly elevated intracooler pressure iop and a visual ac acuity of 20 by 200 in her right eye she has no family history of eye diseases which of the following is the most likely diagnosis options are acute closed angle glycoma corneal laceration ocular hypertension without glycoma open angle glycoma so here the correct answer is acute closed angle glycoma that is our option number a is correct so our next question our next question is is of assertion and reasoning type so the question is a 45 year old male present to the clinic with insidious onset of loss of vision mild headache and eye ache he also gives a history of frequent change in reading glass on examination he was found to glycomatous visual field defects but his intraocular pressure was normal funders examination showed pale disease with a large cup so here assertion is Beta Zolol is the drug of choice for this condition reason lowering the intraocular pressure and the increasing the optic nerve blood flow are helpful in this condition here both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation for assertion so that is our option number a is right here question number 24 a patient who is on long-term steroid developed certain ocular symptoms since few weeks. Which of the following condition is caused by chronic steroid use? Options are open angle glycoma, conjunctival papillomatosis, C, uvitis, D, none of the above. The correct answer is here. Open angle glycoma, that is your option number A is correct. So our next question. A 56-year-old female is brought to casualty with acute narrow angle glycoma. She has severe pain in her eye and it spreads. The radiation of pain in acute narrow angle glycoma is in the distribution of options are third nerve, fifth nerve, seventh nerve, second nerve. So the correct answer is here. Option number D that is fifth nerve is the correct answer. So the next question is all of the following can Peridose pose to development of angle closer glycoma except options are small cornea, smaller diameters of lens, shallow AC, small eyeball. The correct answer is here is option number B that is smaller diameter of lens. Now let's move to our next question. So this is the question which among the following is the indication for using Fincham's test. Options are to diagnose congenital glycoma, to diagnose acute congestive glycoma. C. For differential diagnosis of acute congestive glycom glycoma from cataract. D. To diagnose congenital cataract. Option number C is correct here. That is for differential diagnosis of acute congestive glycoma from cataract. Now, our next question is this. A 30 days old neonat presented with excessive lacrimation and photophobia he has a large and hazy cornea eyelish both lacrimal duct systems are normal the diagnosis is options are here megalocornea keratoconus congenital glycoma hunter syndrome so the correct answer is congenital glycoma that is our option number c is correct here now our next question is this one Von Reckling Gaussian disease associated with options are glycoma, B optic nerve glioma, neurofibroma of the clades, D all of the above. So here all of the above is the correct answer that is option number A, B, C all are correct. Okay that is all of the above. Option number D is correct here. So the next question is this one. Which of the following will not cause pupillary white reflex? Options are retinoblastoma, glycoma, cataract, retrolental fibroplasia. The correct answer is here is glycoma and that is or option number B is correct here. The next question is this one. The question is which statement regarding glycoma is true? Options are if recognized early the optic neuropathy of glycoma is reversible. B. Topical B. Adrenergic antagonist have few if any side effect due to their systemic absorption see the initial symptom 
ऑफ टेक नीर ऑफ एटीट्यूड टू ग्लाइक होम इज लॉस ऑफ सेंट्रल विजन डी नन ऑफ द अबाव सो हेयर द ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज करेक्ट दैट इज नन ऑफ द अबाव ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट सो ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस सरकम कॉर्डियल कॉन्जेक्शन इज नॉट सीन इन ऑप्शन आर एक्यूट बैक्टीरियल कॉन्जेवाइटिस एक्यूट एराइटिस एक्यूट ग्लाइकोमा डी सिलेराइटिस ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज करेक्ट हेयर दैट इज सिलेराइटिस ओके ना लेट्स मूव टू आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज द लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट ओके सो फॉर द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे फॉर डिस्कशन इज दिस वन इन एक्यूट एंगल क्लोजर ग्लाइकोमा ऑल आर सीन एक्सेप्ट ऑप्शन आर हेयर कपिंग ऑफ डेक्स बायोनेटिंग साइन सी स्नो बैंकिंग डी ओवल कप द करेक्ट आंसर इज हेयर ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज स्नो बैंकिंग ओके गाइज दैट्स ऑल फॉर नाउ सो आई विश यू अगेन अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर ओके इफ यू लाइक आवर वीडियो प्लीज हिट अ लाइक बटन ऑन इट and please share this video with your friends also and uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel please subscribe it now okay thank you guys bye bye and happy new year once again okay